Smash subscribe and Smash you. What's going on guys? And in this video I'm gonna be showing you all the updates I added. Bro, only famous people show their face. Bro, I didn't even ask for your opinion though. Dude, you're not even famous, like just critics. Man, they haven't they ain't even see my <laughs> <laughs> I had this sell all fish in tank. Boom. Jump back into Unity and I'll show you a demonstration. So right now I have two fish, just add a couple more. Check out the fish menu, sell all button, and it gets all the fish in the tank and the amount of coins that you're gonna get for selling them all. And go boom, cool. Now if we take a look at the script behind this, and this is the code snippet right here mainly, and let's just be honest, I don't entirely know how this works. <laughs> And this for each loop is kind of new to me, so I kind of understand it. It took me a little bit to get it, but I did it. I'm not entirely sure how, but as a story of my life. So now you could sell fish, but not really buy them. So I made this fish shop. Spawn a few blue snappers. Nice. Let's just be honest. This is kind of put together with duct tape. I don't know how to code. And then I continue to add a max amount of fish in the tank. So if I try to go above five, it says max limit for tank has been reached. But I'm obviously going to have more than five fish in the tank. I think I'm going to keep it to 25 for uh, performance purposes because fast stuff makes me go yes. And then I added a text that shows the amount of fish in the tank because you suck at counting. Seriously, like what? What's one plus one? And then I made cell particle effects for selling every fish in the tank with this button. Because... Yeah, that's awesome. And right here you can see me overspending pearls, which is kind of counterintuitive. So I spent the next five minutes looking through my code, looking where I spend pearls. I found it, so I fixed it right up, and now it's working like a charm. All right, we had plenty of small things to do. Now I did something pretty big. Well, pretty big to me at least. I added fish growth. Boom. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Go into my buy fish panel or store and check it out. They start off as babies. And look at this, we go to the minnow. It has timer and the timer, when it hits the grow time, then it's gonna be an adult. Boom, adult is checked on. Now I'm gonna show you the script behind this. It looks something like this if you're interested in it. I can make a tutorial about the growing objects in Unity if you want it, or something similar to what I did. Just leave a comment down below. But in short, all I really did was, if it's not an adult, then start the coroutine grow. And growing basically just transforms the size to a vector three lerp from point A to point B. And point A and B for me are sizes, so from small to big in amount of time divided by growth time. And now with that added, I could try to add breeding to the game, which I don't know if I can implement that just yet, but we'll see. And I just did a little thing. Now it displays the fish's age over here. I need to put a text saying if it is adult. Man, if girls had an age bar, then felony would be at an all-time low.